Hi, Terry Rose here again from LJ Create with another LMS training video. Uh, in today's uh, session, we're going to look at uh, some uh, tutor uh, activities, uh, mainly to do with um, adding classes and um, moving students, uh, deleting uh, students' attempt at uh, pieces of work, and deleting students from classes and, and indeed the LMS system. So let's get started. You can see the, uh, the login screen for the LMS um, here, and here's my uh, tutor's uh, username. Um, uh, let's just suppose here for the moment that um, actually I've forgotten my uh, password here. Um, there's a link that I can click on. If I uh, click on that, then the system will automatically send uh, your password um, to the uh, email address that's been registered on the system uh, um, when you uh, when you joined um, uh, uh, the LMS system. Okay, so I've gone and looked at my email. I've got my password, and I can now log in. Okay, so here I am logged in. Um, first of all, of course, we're looking at the uh, the lesson view, the course view. Um, what I want to look at is uh, some of the administration side of the, uh, of the tutor. So over to the uh, cogwheel uh, icon and click on the administration user interface. Logged in as this tutor, I can see my default uh, tutor class here. And we can see that I've already got uh, an automotive class called auto. Uh, 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 and if I look inside that class, I've got uh, three students and uh, myself as a, uh, a tutor for that class. If I want to add another class, um, and I want to keep it at the same level uh, uh, as the auto class, then I need to click on the default class and up here, click on the create a new group and give that class a name. We'll call it a science class, like so, and create. And now you can see I've created another class at the same level as the auto class. OK, I could do that again, but this time if I leave the science class highlighted uh, and create another class, now if I... Uh, create a class called, let's say, group one. That class is then created within the science class. So you can see the hierarchy structure starting to build um, for my site. OK, so uh, let's look at uh, moving some students or copying some students uh, from one class to another. At the moment, my science class is empty. It has no uh, users uh, or students uh, in it at all. If I go to my uh, automotive class, there I can see my three students and uh, the tutor. And what I can do is click all of those and then pick them up and drag them into the science class. Now you can see the icon for the science class changes to show that I have students in that class. And indeed, if I highlight that class, you can see that I've copied those students into the class. If I want to uh, uh, delete the student from the, uh, from the automotive class, then if I was to click on, um, let's say, Robert, I can then delete the student from that particular group. So go ahead and do that. It's asked me how much sure I want to do that. I click OK, and Robert disappears from within the auto class. But of course, he's still there in the science class. If I, um, if I want to remove Robert altogether from the LMS system, if I click him there and Remove him from this class, I can do so. But we should find that um, 
that he now doesn't exist in either class. Okay, let's just look at uh, how we delete a student attempt uh, at some work. To do this, I need to pop back into uh, the course view that I logged into and look at my reports. If I select an organization report and look in my class and look at uh, Jason there, I can see that he's done a number of pieces of work. I can arrange those to the top in, the, in order of the time spent logged in. And for instance, if I want to delete the attempt at this uh, common rail diesel engine assessment, over here to this pencil icon, click and delete. And that attempt is deleted. Likewise, presentation, click on the pencil icon, and I can delete the attempt. OK, so that's all for this session. See you again next time.